Hi, my name is Beverly Hazan. I'm the National Coordinator for COBE. And I'd like to give you a guided tour of the information that you can find on the COBE site, which is on the Chief Inspector site, stay up to date. You can find it by going into Google and typing in stay up to date. You will come to the Department of Languages English Inspector's Desk Stay Up To Date page. And if you scroll down past special announcements and you'll get to book root examinations. You click on the very first uh, link, Oral Book Root Computerized Exam, which will take you to the Computerized Oral Book Root Test page. On this page, which is organized into technical information, testing, and see information, you can find everything that you need for the COBE exam. So the very first piece of information that you get here is that there's a new version of the COBE, and this is for your computer technician, really to know that he should go in here and put these on your computers at your school. The next link that you have here is called Suggested Technological Guidelines COBE. And this is for all the different roles of the people who need to collaborate together to get things started. So you have the computer technologist, you have the eye test coordinator, you have the book root coordinator or secretary or both. You have the English coordinator, the teacher and the student. And here you will find also interesting links that you might need and useful links on the very first page. Then you come to the testing. The next very important link that you have is called Guidelines for the COBE, which was written by the people who wrote the COBE exam. The table of specifications and the rubrics are inside this document as well. It explains the exam. It explains um, what each part is, how much it's worth, what the students have to do in order to succeed. It has some information for teachers and classroom activities. And the next important link is begins with 2019, which is a simulation of the computerized oral book root exam, which I will briefly show you. If you click on that, you will go directly to last year's simulation from December. Here is the front page of the exam. On the exam itself, there's a clock over here, which the student should activate in order to um, know how long they're spending on the test. Each page says le at the bottom, and then you can move from page to page, part to part. There are very important general instructions here at the beginning, which neither you or the students, neither you nor the students should skip listening to and watching. There's a practice question, which just makes sure that you're actually recording. And then we come to part A of the exam, talking about yourself, that's what it was called last year, which has uh, little instructions at the beginning of each part. Then you have the um, choice of two questions, that the two topics that the students will answer a set of questions about. And I'll just give you one example here. Today, I'm going to ask you about. Okay, and this is what the second choice looks like. The student can listen to both and then decide which one he wants to answer when he's got the answer formulated in his head. And then he moves to the next part of the test, towards himself, gets encouragement. The next part is the project. He introduces it, encourages, and he asks the question. Okay, then we have part C. In part C, the student can move up and down, back and forth. He can watch the clip, then look at the different parts. Question four, which is the easier question. Then he can look at question five, and then he can go back again and watch the clip again. And I'll remind you that the prompts, the question prompts remain on the screen. When the student is finished, again, he'll get some encouragement. Great job. And then he will finish his exam and go out of the test. Okay, takes us back to the page we were on before, the COPE page. And here you have written instructions for students about the COPE in Hebrew, which tells them exactly how they record, how to work. So it should look through this as well. 
And here you have a letter, which is um, rubrics. This is the first letter that went out that has information, of, general information at the beginning about the COBE and other updates. If you're looking for information for the principal on what he needs to do to get the school ready and updated, technologically speaking, with the computers, that's where you can find it on this letter. Or some, in, there's some information about the Tziyun Shnati here that you should read. And if you want to look at the table of specifications and rubrics again, it's at the bottom outside of the guidelines here. And you have some materials that teachers made on the site. Um, very brief information about um, at the Sheva students. And you can find the link for LD students on the last page of the at the Sheva document on the group page. And you have a nice clip to watch about what teachers think about the code. We've already done it. Um, I wish you the best. And anything you need, I'm here for you to help you and support you. And just to remind you that um, the most important thing is to keep calm, keep your students calm and talking. And um, if you need anything, call me.